who everybody who ain't want to see me winning wrong like i'm tired of people sleeping on me money like this they gon' pay but if you don't want nobody shot i suggest niggas go come on this block you fuck with the pigs we turn you to slop free all my niggas that's laying on cots i told my nigga to take off his top he popped a perky to turn up a notch i don't trust him he need to be watched i'm in the lambo truck with the chop pull that pistol on you and nobody's looking when i ain't have it then i want First and foremost, if you're a subscriber, like that bit, comment under the video if you made it this far into the video. Thank you for being, thank you for being there for me. Thank you for being a day one and a supporter to the channel. I really thank you for supporting the cause. If you're a subscriber and if you're new here, sub here, like, like the video, comment and share it with somebody. So the day video about me going back home and I'm going back home to prove all the haters wrong. Simple, simple as that. If you if you got anything that you wanna do, there's always gonna be somebody that hate on you. There's always gonna be somebody who wanna put you down and people don't understand that you real life gotta go back go back to where you came from and and prove all that put that to rest. Like is the reason why I work so hard, is the reason why I, I do so much like people don't see what I do behind the scenes. People don't see how hard I work behind the scenes. Like anything I say, I really could back it up because I know what I do and nobody else know it. That, like this, this is what makes a person like really, really well-rounded. What makes a person really like about that. Like if you put in work with nobody else watching, when you put in work, when coach say, when coach don't have to tell you nothing, that will make you dangerous, like, because you know how hard you didn't grind it. And if a person tell you something about you not working, you know what you did. You know how hard you fight. You know that you fought for that spot. You know that you deserve that position. And that, that's all I got to say. I'm going back to prove the haters wrong. I'm going back to prove them all wrong. I'm going back to prove the doubters wrong. I'm going back to prove everybody who ain't want to see me winning wrong. Like, I'm tired of people sleeping on me. Simple. Like, stop sleeping on my channel. Stop sleeping on my work ethic. Like, I really be I really be sitting there grinding. And people, when people out here lollygagging and not caring about their life, I be the main one grinding. And that's why I'm tired of people sleeping on me. Like, I'm going back home. Like right now I've been in Plaquemine. And if um if people who like on my Instagram, by the way, follow KT television on Instagram, you know. Uh but people um who who on my Instagram probably seen my stories like thank y'all to Plaquemine and stuff like that. I really appreciate them for helping me. Like it felt like the coaches believed in me when nobody else did. Like they saw me through some of the hardest times. Like I broke when I when I tore my ACL and my meniscus, they still held me like they accepted me as a like as a part of their team. And I, I really respect them for that. And they I, I really hope the best for them. I hope they make it to the state championship next year. Matter of fact, no, I they better make it to the state championship next year. That that's how that's how much I care about that team. I want to see them winning, bro. Because they all my brothers and I sat there and I watched them work hard and they better make it to the state. That's all I got to say, because I really appreciate what they did for me when I was at my lowest. You know, I really appreciate what they did. The coaches believed in me. I hope the coaching staffs, the coaching staff does the best. Like they had the best season that they ever had in their history. Simple as that. Yeah, but I'm going back to prove all my haters wrong. I wish I could have stayed at Plaquemine, but it's something about being in comfortability. Like I prepared myself for this. I've been through, I've been through hell and back for this. Like I tore my ACL, tore my meniscus. I busted my butt just to, just to get to the point where I'm at. People don't see, people don't see this. And the people who, who go to therapy, the people who like, like really know me, the people know, like, I'm like that. Like I'm a workhorse and I don't like, I'm not going to take nothing from nobody. And I'm not finna take nobody telling me that I'm not working hard. I'm not finna take somebody making me sit on the bench. I'm not settling for that because I know what I did and I know that I deserve. I know what I deserve because I grinded for it. That that's that's all I gotta say. That and don't you if you watching me if you got this far in the video, 
don't you take that for yourself. Don't let nobody determine how hard you work and work for yourself. Like, don't ever let nobody disrespect your work ethic. Simple as that. You prove your haters wrong and I prove my haters wrong. That's all you got to do. If you're proving your haters wrong, they, they always going to be people who don't want to see you winning, but you better be winning. Like, simple. Win the day, win every day, grind hard because they got people who don't want to see you winning out there. And for the people who don't, do want to see you winning, make sure that you that you show them love. Like, because it's very few of them. It's very few of people who want to see you winning. And that's speaking from truth because most of the people around here be showing fake love. Like, straight like that. Thank y'all for watching the video. Beast athletes out the building bit. <sighs>